Hello, Will here, and we are in Gran Turismo. Into Teddy Races. Uh, yeah, I'll begin race A, which is at Sardenga, road track A. And this is the first video with the new penalty system. And I've, you know, I've done a few, I've done a couple of races with the, I have done a couple of races. With the new penalty system, and quite frankly, the penalty system is a bit—it's in a bit of shambles at the moment. Uh, so yeah, before they updated it, it was in shambles because it was too easy to get a penalty, as well as the penalties were very harsh, even for the tiniest little thing. Um, but now they've updated it, and it's very hard to get a penalty. And it's sort of like, it does affect the quality of racing. I have seen a drop in quality of racing. Now, yes, I'm not the most amazing driver myself. I'm not the cleanest driver all the time. I will guide you, I make mistakes. But I have seen a drop in the quality. Now, yeah, with this race, I'm just going to have a bit of fun with it. So, I mean, if things go to shit, they go to shit, you know. It's so I'm having a bit of fun <laughs> with it. You know, obviously, I'm, I'm starting at the back. I'm just going to have a bit of fun. La, 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 nothing major, blah, 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 blah. But it's, it's a question. We're going to see if there is, if, how, what the quality. Eh? Eh, I don't know. The quality of this race is. I mean... Is, does, is it going to be a, a good, a, an alright quality, or is it going to be a terrible quality? Now, I'm not going to, obviously I'm not going to intentionally try and ram people off or whatever that, just to test the penalty system. You know, I'm not going to be an asshole. But, you know, there is a chance I will make the mistakes, especially when it's close racing like this. I'm going to wrong somewhere. Yeah, a little tap there. Oh, that was not aware of the person behind me. Uh, and does anybody get a penalty? I do not get one. But you see, you see, you could also a good way to see if anyone else actually gets a penalty. Because I didn't get one. The person that hit me didn't get one. The French guy didn't get one. Nobody got one. Though the French guy did lose out. Now, on that instance, look, there's, there's a big spin out there. We've got, we've got, see, look at, look at, look at all this mayhem, all this ruckus. And so far, as far as I can see, no penalties. Not a single person has a penalty so far. Tell me not, okay, yeah, the, the, that, that first incident with the French driver uh, going out, yeah, that was my bad. I was probably going a bit slow at that point. Let me give this guy a bit of room. You know, I was probably going a little bit slower. But, um, but then with that second incident with the, the guy spinning out, it's like nobody's got a penalty. Not a single soul has a penalty. 
I'm not really concentrating on the face too much, but you know, but not a single person has a penalty. Oh god, we've got we've got this thing actually this thing breaks actually quite well. Mind you, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like not as as I said, I'm not really concentrating. But at the same time, I am com I am commenting on this at the same time as doing the race, so I'm not actually concentrating on the race as much as I should be really. But again, I'm having a bit of fun here. But so, yeah, so so far, no penalties. Where really there should have been some penalties. By now, including me, I personally probably should have got a penalty somewhere by now. But no, nobody's got a penalty. Now I won't be surprised if that French guy decides to smash into me again, or decides to smash into me. I will. Oh god, no bit wide. Okay, that wasn't the French guy. That was the Portuguese guy. Now, okay, for granted, I was going a bit wide already there, so I was like, meh. But see, like in the old penalty system, he probably would have got a penalty there. In the before they'd made all these changes, possibly he would have got a penalty because I was kind of off the kind of off the track. But you know, so, so I'm gonna just take a little bit of a cut there, and no penalty so far. Now that might not have been. That might not have been enough of a cut, that's the thing. So we're going to try and make another cut somewhere. Somewhere where it's easy to cut. Where it's somewhere where it's easy to cut. I don't want to like, try and cut some, somewhere where it's like, ridiculously hard to make a cut. Let's have a look. So yeah, it's, but as you've seen there, you know, it's got all this going on. Look, there's a bit, little bit of... Oh my god, finally, someone has a penalty! Because, well, I don't know what actually happened. But, you know, again, nobody actually... No, okay, there was... I think what it was is um, the two cars that collided. Uh, the German, uh, I think it might have been... One of those, I don't know. Oh, run a bit. Ready. Oh, Jesus. That was my bad. <laughs> Losing a bit of control there. But that's probably how the guy who's behind me now got his penalty. By the fact that he, he hit some, you know, there was two, two of them hit, and the guy hit the wall, and so the, the guy in the red alpha got a penalty. And so, yeah, but oh, see, the, the Portuguese driver didn't get a penalty there, but that's fair enough. So we're going to try something again. Right. Deliberate cut. Not much, okay, it's not much of a cut, but it's a deliberate cut. And uh, nothing. N no penalty, nothing at all. For what was a bully. I know, I know. Sometimes the game does allow you to cut, cut a corner. But I think it's kind of sort of like. If the penalty system sees it as that you're, you're cutting a corner because of like out of accident kind of thing. Then it will let you off with the penalty. It will let you off the penalty. Uh, whereas I think it's supposed to be if it if it knows that you basically if it's a deliberate cut, then you're supposed to get a penalty for it. Uh, which in this case I didn't. And it was a, you know it was a full cut. Okay, it was a short cut. In many in a couple of different terms, it was a short cut. But a cut is a cut. And you know, I was not penalised it, no penalty, no nothing. So let's go let's try here. Bit of a cut there. Let's try here. Another bit of a cut there. Yeah, these aren't substantial cuts. Oh well, there you go. Only to, only on only only took only took it to the third attempt to actually give me the goddamn penalty. No, you know, only took to the first then. Then I'm gonna try here. I'm gonna try again. Another cut. Do I get an extension? Oh, well, I'll go a bit wide. So. <laughs> but 
again, nothing. I don't want to get anything for it. Then we're going to go across it. Woohee! Now, I should get a penalty there. Yep, I do. You know, so it does give you penalties for cutting corners, but it's a bit hit and miss with that, to be honest. So, the penalty system. Yeah, it's in a bit of a shambles, I will grant you. Okay, yeah, that wasn't my smoothest race. I mean, it was a bit dodgy in some places, but... I should have definitely got... more penalties <laughs> for that. But again, the penalty system, it's just... It's too lenient now. And it does affect... And it has affected the quality of the racing. But that's it for race A. So we're going to move on to the next race. Alright, so here we are at race B. At Dragon Tail Seaside. Now, this one went a bit better, I will grant it. Definitely give a bit, bit better. But there was still some dodginess within this race as well. Carrying on the theme of the penalty system. And it's broken nature so as you can see yeah this time we're starting right at the back anyway, again so it's like the question is see that how far can I get because of everybody else is arriving like an idiot now yeah myself probably wasn't my smoothie star one either because unfortunately I was actually recording or Oh, at least I thought I was recording um, my commentary over this whilst actually doing the race. But it was only after that I actually realised my mic was muted. <laughs> so it didn't actually capture my commentary, so I have to now re record it. Mm. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see some we're gonna see a couple of dodgy bits in people's racing. I thought one guy's already up there. He's gone. I think there was a bit of squad between him and another person. I think it might have been a guy in a Lamborghini, I think. Can't quite remember now, but I think it's a guy in a Lamborghini. And uh, nothing. See there I was trying to go on the inside. Uh, but the guy the guy was not the Portuguese driver was not really giving me the room. You know, he could have moved it a little bit to the left, but he, that's really not what he was doing. Uh, that guy is just... I literally have no idea what happened to that guy. Not a clue. So... So I had to slow down there because I was thinking, if the character on like this, the, the Portuguese driver, he's going to make me go into the wall. So I had to let him go. And then I only just saw that Ferrari, that's why I was so, it's only had to suddenly spit sort of to turn to the right though. Because that's pattern through the first because I didn't actually realise that Ferrari was there. At first and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> but yeah, but this Port the Portuguese driver though, he was a bit funny. I will say. He he, he was a li he was a little bit funny. But we managed to come up until 11, so because everybody else is fucking over each other over. But yeah, in this race, I am driving the Lexus. Now, to me, it seemed like the Lexus was a bit unsteery. Now, I don't know. I don't know if the Lexus does suffer from understeer or not. But to me, it seemed to be a bit unsteery. But it could be this way that I was just driving it. Maybe. See, it's up there. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of contact between me and the guy in the NSX. But it's just unfortunately on that corner, I had a bit of understeer coming out of it. And then he gets hit off by someone else. <laughs> I think it was like a light tap off, but he got tapped off by someone else. And I'm pretty sure the person who did it didn't get a penalty. I don't recall him getting a penalty. 
So again, the penalty system is too lenient. It's it is basically like now. So many people were complaining that the uh, penalties were being too harsh and penalties were too easy to get. So Polyphonia would just been like, "You want the moon? You want a whinge? Well, I guess what? You can have no penalties then. Let's say you like it." But there, guy, French guy. Now I think I'm pretty sure he got spun out. That, that, that was not because he made a mistake. He was spun out there, and. As far as I can tell, the person who spun them out, no penalty, because I'm pretty sure it was the French driver in Lamborghini, and uh, no penalty. It could have been the Ferrari driver, I can't, can't quite remember, you'll, you'll see it in the video. But who, whoever spun them out, no penalty. It's like... Okay, I know, I know you don't, I know you don't want to ruin people's experiences by making the slightest tap get you a six-second penalty. But come on, Polly Pony, crack the whip a little bit. It's people are now just racing like it's like an arcade racer. I know this is not a pure sim racer. It's not, it's not a pure sim racer. I mean people sort of refer to it as a simcade but this is now just, it's now just turned into a full-on arcade racer plain and simple you know all people all these people now are starting to treat it just like it's a, an arcade an arcade racer so it's like come on fix the penalty system crack the whip a little bit you know Give us a slap on the hand for bashing into people, you know, kind of thing. But yeah, granted, yeah, the penalty system, I, I might have said this in the earlier part. Yeah, granted, the penalty system, it's never going to be perfect. And I don't think anyone is expecting it to ever be perfect, because, let's face it, that's just asking too much. But it can definitely be improved upon. And especially now. As, as 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 it was before the update, there it could be improved upon so much, and now, again, it could be improved upon so much. Now, exactly how to improve it, I can't really directly say. I mean, like, yeah, obviously it's sorted out so then it, you know people are actually getting penalties when they should be getting them. Yeah, you can sort out that. Like there technically there, the Portuguese driver should have got a penalty, but he didn't, you know, so it's like, you know, it's like, it's like, make sure people get, are actually getting penalties when they're supposed to be getting penalties, but obviously it's not like, give a person a penalty for the slightest tack, you know, it's, you know, it's get that balance, or, as an idea, this is just an idea and okay, from the top of my head, I'm pretty sure some other people are probably for this as well. You know, but they, there you go, the Italian driver going in there for a savage lunch. But no, an idea that they could do, and I'm pretty sure some other people are probably for this as well, is have a disqualification system. So if you get, if you accumulate a certain amount of penalty times during the race, the game remembers. And if you exceed that time, you get disqualified from the race. You know, giving incentive for people to not drive like an asshole, basically. But that's just one idea. But we're coming up to the end, and as you can see, I managed to come up to the fifth. So all in all, not actually bad. Bearing in mind, most of that was gained by people driving like an idiot, and people being basically assholes to one another. But that's basically it. That's it for that's it for this week. And that's it for this video. And that's the penalty system in all its shittiness right now. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. So please remember to like and subscribe and share this video with some of your friends. And remember to check out the rest of my grandchildren's videos. So until the next time, I will see you all at the Thank you.